guys, welcome back to Mansell Media Corner and today video I was originally going to do a top 20 hard rock slash heavy metal albums ranking but because but because I'm a bit of a metal head and I do like my hard rock music I've narrowed it down to 27 the reason being a lot of people do not know this but I do love my WWE which is still my favourite dogs um, wrestling company but I'm also also I'm a big metal head and I do like my rock music so let's start in at number 27 from 1984 um, a new wave of British heavy metal a very interesting story I was with my fr best friend Van Dark Forest who, we, who will get a mention in this list but, but Dark Forest kind of opened up for Clive and Hoof and I got I've got the bass player Lee Payne to sign this album and he happily, happily did but uh, this is Clive and Who's first um, album with um, Laying Down the Law which is a lot like their take on Breaking the Law but you put some Really good songs, very under underground and um, new wave of British heavy metal. Then, in at number twenty six, yes, the infamous album from Van Halen. The reason being, in the metal community, the first two were like. The first three kind of the best of the David Lee Roth era. Personally, I like this album from 1984. The reason being it's got the anthemic jump. It's got Panama, of course. It's got the amazing drum intro, which I believe is a double bass with Alex Van Halen, but some good, good hard rock songs. And this was the last album to feature David Lee Roth. Then in at number 25, a band that influenced Metallica, Slayer, etc., but big influence on Metallica, it's the best of Diamond Head. This has got anthems, Am I Evil, which I believe Metallica covered in their Garage, Garage Days EP, I think. But it's also got Helpless, which is a brilliant song. Again, another heavy metal band from... Um, Stower Bridge Way. Then we go to Judas Priest's second album, which is Sad Wings of Destiny, which which is when when they, the first album was more I think rock album, but this one's got. Um, victim of Changes, The Ripper, Dream of Deceiver, Tyrant, and Genocide. And there's the back, there's the front. Awesome album. And to do with like West Midlands, one of the great rock bands in the mighty Led Zeppelin. 
And this is Led Zeppelin 2 from 1969, I think. But you've got, of course, the, the starter album is an iconic, which is Whole Lot of Love, of course, which, if you were around in the early 70s on Top of the Pops, it was their intro. But you've also got Thank You, which is a is a ballad I think it is we got a brilliant guitar riff in Heartbreaker and Living Love, Living Loving Maid She's Just a Woman which is a brilliant song as well for this album and of course you've got Moby Dick so yes you've also and there's the iconic front cover of the band Now, Inner 22 is a compilation of just mentioned Top of the Pops, but that there was like Top of the Pops too, which are like random performances, but this is a 70s rock. You can't tell, but it's got some amazing, amazing songs. Something for everyone, you've got The Who with the iconic Won't Get Fooled Again, which I think they performed live, but I'm not 100% sure. Of course, got the legendary Paul Kossoff free in free in all right now. You've got Toto as well with um, Hold the Line. you got Jojo Good with Run Run Run. Of course, got the legendary Blue Oyster Cult and Don't Fear the Reaper on this one. But there's something for everyone in this one. Whether, whether you like it, progressive rock, heavy metal, or just rock in general, or glam rock. Like I said, you know, something for everyone on this. On this compilation. Then we have from Germany to a live band, live album, pardon, and it is Running Wild, ready for boarding. This one has got under Jolly Roger, which is a brilliant song. Ghost brilliant Geng Genghis Khan. The amazing Raise Your Fist. And an unreleased track Purgatory, which actually is a studio album. I'm sorry about that. I, th I thought it was a live one, but great, great like folk metal band and there's the, some of the songs then we then we have a band I'm not too sure if they're Yorkshire but it's Witchfind and it's Give Give M Give M Hell just seeing where It's quite quite a good album to, to to listen to. I think I'm still going, you know, which which fine. But you've got obviously the title track, "Give Him Hell," which is an awesome song. And this one came out. A big period for heavy metal in 1980. And 
Then we go to my favourite toy maiden single. And it's a controversial one, but I like this album. But it's Bruce Dickinson's Chemical Wedding. This one's got his take on Jerusalem, which he performs live now with, with his house band, as, his, as Bruce calls it, the Band of Hell, I think, live. We've also got um, King in Crimson, The Tower, Go to View Eyes and the Book of Hell. Some amazing songs. And the, the covers by William, the late great William Blake, who I think Bruce Dickinson is a big, big fan of. Then. Then this is the only appearance of my best friend's band. It's a um, dark forest, the awakening. If you like it, if you like your modern or underground metal, this band is awesome. It's got rise like lions, which is an amazing thing. Which is an amazing um, song. Also got Penders Fan, Sons of England, which is a brilliant song, and Secret Commonwealth, which is a bonus track. But but like like I said, if you've never heard of this band, I I I would I would would. Give these guys a listen. This is by Chris De Delsa Records. Then a guy I think's doing his last concert soon. But what a what a legend this guy is, of course. It's Ozzy Osbourne with tribute with the uh, the like great Randy Rhodes, but you've got stuff like um, Paranoid, Children of the Grave, Iron Man, Steal Away, the Steal Away, and Brackets the Night with a drum solo, which is pretty cool. Of course, got crazy trying to start off with the legendary I don't know but like I said you know these two these two actually only did two albums but what a what a sad day when young Randy Rhodes died but there we got there we got to live album there in the eagle has landed um, Saxon what a great live album a great band still going strong I do believe you've got the likes of Princess of the Night Heavy Metal Thunder 20,000 Feet Wheels of Steel but also, also you've got like a bonus track live at Hammersmith in 1981-1982 with and the band's played on. Midnight Racer, Hungry Years. But a brilliant, um, brilliant live album from Saxon. And I'm, now I'm going to get a lot of slack for this, but... Next album, next album is The Mighty Queen, and this is their greatest hits. Again, I do love, don't get me wrong, Freddie Mercury is one of the greatest rock, hard rock frontmen of all time. But there are some amazing songs on this one, of course. Bohemian Rhapsody starts off. It's greatest hits. Got Bicycle Race, which is a brilliant song. 
got a crazy little thing called love. Now I'm here. Play the game. Flash. We will rock you. But my, my favourite version of We Will Rock You is the fast version. And then again. I'm getting some amazing um, some amazing songs. Then, then kind of a live album. Some people think it was in the studio, but I think it's live. I definitely know it's live. But of course, the legendary Judas Priest live in Japan, which is unleashed in the East. You've got the brilliant Exciter, Running Wild, Diamonds and Rust, which is a cover song, and the bonus tracks Hellbent for Leather. This was during there to in 1978. Of course, Rob Halford, of course, on his Harley, Harley Davidson. There he is. I've seen them live and I tell you, tell you they are a great band. Then, when we go to, I believe them Geordies actually. This is the first full length album for the Mighty Venom. I love this band. You've got the likes of Welcome to Hell, obviously, as it's the uh, title track. Witch and Hour, In League with Satan. Red Life Fever, which is a great, fun song. But yeah, really good um, new wave of British heavy metal influence on on what like to be like death metal, black metal, thrash. It's one of the best bands. Then we go to and next we go to a rainbow album produced by the legendary Martin Birch, which is um Long live rock and roll. Again, I like this album. This is the last appearance, of course, with Mr. D. M. One, but but it's not not the last on this compilation. But you've got Kill the King, which is a kind of heavy metal classic. Got the title track, which starts off the album. Long live rock and roll. LA Connection, Rainbow's Eyes, but yeah, really good album from 1978. Then, then I'll just speak about our black metal. Over in Copenhagen, I think this guy is from, this is King Diamond's second album. It's Abigail, of course. There he is, the man himself. But this has got Mickey D, who's now in, I think, Scorpions. If I'm, if I'm right, right if I'm not right, rightly so. But yeah, this one's got, got a live concert from 1987. We got standout tracks like the Family Ghost, which is a which is a classic metal song. The Mansion in Darkness. But but if but if 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 you lot like your like type influence on black metal, death metal, King Diamond definitely definitely is a big influence with Venom. As one of the pioneers of that genre. Then we go to an album in nineteen eighty four, which is Defenders of the Faith by the Mighty Judas Judas Priest. 
This has got big songs like Free Roll Burning, Drawbreaker, Love Bites, Some Heads Are Gonna Roll. But some of these songs are amazing. And this is produced by Tom Allen, who will also get also make an appearance later on. But yeah, Defenders of the Faith, really good hard rock heavy metal album. And not no more albums to go. Now I this is my favourite heavy metal band of all time. And this is the second album with Mr. Bruce Dickinson on. Of course, of course, you can't tell, but I've got an Iron Maiden t-shirt on. But this is the amazing peace of mind which gave us Nico McBrain's first Iron Maiden album. But you've got the legend, the iconic, the trooper on this album. Baby Eagles there, which is a brilliant drum intro by the by the debut in Nico McBrain. You've got the legendary dog with the boots on. To Tame the Land, which apparently Frank Herbert, who originally wrote Dune, I wanted wanted I made wanted Frank Herbert permission and apparently he didn't know who I made them were. But I called it to Tamer Land. Of course, he got um, Flight to Vicarious and Revelation. So, yes. Legendary album by the best metal band of all time. And this is the last appearance of Tom Allen in Judas Priest on this category. It is the legendary British Steel. This is the 30th anniversary, which has got the live DVD where, where they play the whole of British Steel. Plus other songs like Free Will Burning, Victim of Changes, Diamonds and Rusts. you got another thing coming, but what an amazing album. This starts off with Rapid Fire. Go straight into Metal Gods and Breaking the Law and Grinder. Four, four great metal songs in a row. But also I've got United, which is a great like ballad type of song. And of course got the anthem Living After Midnight. Then, then an album what well, came out the year I was born in 1981. You've got the mighty Saxon with denim and leather. You, on the original album, you've got Princess of the Night, which I still play now. And the band's played on, I think I still do. And of course, the anthemic denim and leather. But really good stuff on this on this album. And you've even got like live performances. The bonus track was at the very first ever Monsters of Rock with Bap Bob Shoe App. And again an amazing band still going today, I think Judas Priest and I think it might be Uriah Heeper supporting the priest or something like, like that. Then we go to Accident of Birth, which is my favourite to the Bruce Dickinson, Agent Smith and Roy Z's. But you've got stuff like um, Star Children, what, that's what Bruce Dickinson plays now on his latest set list. Dark Side of Aquarius, The Road to Hell, Accident of Birth, 
the magician Omega so so I would highly recommend this over chemical wedding if you like chemical wedding that's fine but but this album definitely is one of my favorite Bruce Dickinson albums then Then we got the last of the Judas Priest, and this album came out in 1990. The Anthemic Painkiller, of course, it starts off with the brilliant drumming tour by Scott Travis, I think, joined the band in this, on this album in this particular year. But you've got Hell Patrol, Leather Rebel, which is brilliant brilliant song we've also got uh, Night Call which is a brilliant song One Shot to Go so yes another album I highly recommend if you like Judas Priest and a little, little bit of Dio now and it's his self titled album which he he produced himself. Of course, for 1983, you've got Holy Diver. You've got all these songs are amazing. I mean, I mean, personally, if I had to, if I had to rank these songs on this album. It'd be, be some hard songs to rank them on that good of an album. Like I say, we've got Rainbow in the Dark, brilliant, brilliant rock, brilliant metal song. you got Gypsy, which is a rare Tom Dio, I think, Screams. Of course, a legendary Holy Diver. Don't talk... Don't talk to strangers. So yeah, really good album. Um, this is Dio's first appearance with Black Sabbath. Again, and I highly recommend this album, but it is Heaven and Hell, which is the expanded version. But you've got so anthems like Heaven and Hell, Die Young, Neon Nights. This was produced by Martin Birch. As well as the back and the front. And in at number two is Bruce Dickinson's first I made an album. It's the epic number of the beast. The only downside of this album is Gangland. Uh, which, don't get me wrong, I love Gangland. A lot of people don't like it and that's fine. But you've got Total Eclipse, which is, I think, a B-side. But, what can I say? This was... Martin Birch's second produced Iron Maiden album, but what an what an epic album! And speaking of Martin Birch, in at number one, all I gotta say, some amazing songs on this one, which is Rainbow's second album, which is Black, Richie Blackmore. On guitar, the legendary coat like Greg Coates in Pal on drums, Dio on vocals. I think it's Jimmy Bain on bass guitar, but this is Rainbow Rising for 1976, I think. But the last two songs stand out, which is the anthemic Stargazer and proper heavy. A light in the black. Plus also start off with um Tower Woman. So yes. 
So yes, that that's that's my twenty-seven albums ranked. So I'm going to do some shout outs to the following YouTubers. So starting off with my dear friend Beat Damn Bunny. He's a fellow wrestling fan but also loves his physical media. Then we have my good friend James Millership also known as Dudley. Who inspired me to do YouTube and also huge fan of The Never Ending Story, the 1984 film. Then we have Sammy G's World of Cinema. Loves his collection of Blu-rays, but also recently did a top 10 albums of the 80s, what, what, what he recommends. There we have Rock God 2004, which is Nigel. Nigel, who loves his Iron Maiden and does some unboxings of albums, but also plays bass. He's, he stars like Stevie Harris of Iron Maiden. There we have Big Paulie, loves his music, loves the odd country, which is not my favourite music genre, but it's... It is, it is what it is. But a big, big Magnum fan. Magnum the band that is, not, not the television show. But it, but, my, 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 but my, maybe he likes, likes the show as well. I have no idea. There we have John from Mondo Televec Movies. Plays in the same band with Nige. But a huge Video Nasties fan. But it, I think he does like, like his odd music. Then we have we have Metal Mickey who loves his metal music and shows off his old school metal mags and does some album reviews. Then we have Geordie Paul, Mr. Paul Robinson himself. Massive fan of his vinyl, but loves his Oasis and John Lennon on vinyl and his guitars. And the last shout out is for Ian Hill, The Ramblings. Loves his album reviews, but also a great YouTuber. So please, please subscribe to the channels. And don't forget to like, comment and share and smash the bell icon for, lo for like, rankings, etc. All reviews. So like I said, thank you for watching the uh, watching Mansell channel. Watching the channel which is Mansell Media Corner. So... Keep it rocking guys and thank you for watching the channel. Like I said, please like, share and subscribe to these guys. There will be some additional shout outs who 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 are who I haven't mentioned on this video but but you guys know who you are. So anyhow, thank thank you for watching the channel and goodbye folks, goodbye. <laughs>